What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite, and tonight I have a second video here for you guys, a bit of an emergency, talking about the secret reveal of the MW3 Season 3 Battle Pass, plus some additional content you probably didn't know about for Rebirth Island. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and also as a reminder, there's plenty of brand new content going up over on Detonated.com for those who want additional coverage of multiplayer Warzone and Zombies, even Warzone Mobile, plus we got plenty of tweets every single hour on Detonated's Twitter. Now, as of tonight, it's Tuesday, I'm just preparing for the big reveal we're going to get tomorrow which is probably going to be a blog post and roadmap for our third season but for those that want to know a little bit ahead of schedule what is coming to every game mode we got an article breaking everything down for you guys but yeah there'll be a lot more written here on the site over the next couple of days appreciate all the support on that but earlier today i was surprised by a rebirth day package as i was streaming earlier this morning you guys probably saw when i unboxed it but in case you guys didn't they're really taking rebirth day pretty seriously so got the crown as you can see i'm wearing right now got some balloons and even a rebirth day cake candle it's gonna make my house smell pretty good and on top of that we got a nice written letter about the return of our beloved rebirth island so once again rebirth does release with the start of season three on april 3rd should be around 9 a.m pacific 11 o'clock central and 12 o'clock eastern but also big shout out to little caesars for helping put together the promotion for rebirth day it was pretty cool trying the crazy puffs they tasted awesome so hopefully you guys have also tried those out but taking a look at the brand new key art for our third season, as you guys saw a glimpse of at the beginning of this video, we could definitely see a clear shot of Rebirth Island as the Rebirth reinforced version of the map that we saw during Vanguard's life cycle. You get a nice look at Makarov, and then you get two new operators here. This could be an unmasked Warden. Warden did release with the beginning of Modern Warfare 3 through the Vault Edition, but that could also be a brand new operator entirely. This man is certainly a new operator, but obviously you can see a nice glimpse of our advanced warfare weapon. You can see the Morse Sniper from 2014, and I believe this pistol right here could be the mp9 it's also rumored to release in the game but either way season three looks like it's gonna have a bit of a blue theme and certainly a coney focus i'm gonna guess right now the post-launch narrative for this season is macroff going to rebirth to break some of his coney operatives out of prison i believe rebirth was previously occupied by perseus so it's unclear if coney and perseus are at odds are they working together who knows what exactly is going on here but hopefully we get a nice beautiful cinematic cutscene in the next couple of days but on top of that aside from the weapons that we could see right here i know people out there are asking about the BAL assault rifle which is also rumored that's probably gonna be released via a weekly challenge or through the classified unlock coming later in season three but here's some breaking news for you guys as I was ending my stream earlier they ended up revealing the official key art but then shortly after that Steam ended up posting what looks like our first glimpse of some battle pass artwork for MW3's third season did not expect this at all I know Call of Duty hasn't really acknowledged this artwork just yet but there's a lot to take away from this art so obviously you get a nice glimpse of Makarov front and center he's getting a brand new operator skin on top of the one that just released earlier today, the Tatted Up Bundle, this will be his third look in the game. And I'm sure you guys didn't forget about the Vault Edition skin, but look who that is to the right. That is definitely Snoop Dogg. And I know there were rumors that he was going to be getting a new skin in Season 3. It's very likely that he's going to be a Battle Pass operator. He'll be the collab operator for our third season, similar to Rick Grimes from Season 2. They likely won't end up selling Snoop Dogg through a bundle, but for those looking for a 420-themed pack, you'll be seeing the Cheech and Chong bundles probably later in our third season. Could all see some variants of some pretty cool looking weapons here that's definitely a blueprint for the morse if i had to guess and these look like some coney themed skins which is really damn exciting so coney still has a red theme behind it i mean the group itself does have a red logo but we're looking at a pretty cool blue effect around the season three marketing and you can see rebirth in the background on top of that but yeah that is our first official look at snoop dogg was likely going to be a battle pass operator and i'm sure there's other new characters that have been unannounced that are also going to be featured in our third pass now it gets even better than that as we reported over on the detonated tweets cod warfare form over on Twitter was one of the first people to reveal this artwork from Steam he posted it over on Twitter and in the replies of the original tweet somebody named Knight actually pointed out something that I haven't seen anybody talking about and that is the fact that a recent ad for Warzone Mobile did confirm a Coney themed blueprint that will be featured in season three so that's your first look at the blueprint right there for the Holger so apparently it was on Instagram Call of Duty tends to market things a bit differently here and there on Instagram every now and again but yeah this was the official ad that this person saw it's about MW3 Warzone Mobile and and regular war zone you can see right there there is a first look at the coney theme blueprint it looks similar to the weapons that are being held in the hands of makarov and either this new character or maybe that's warden so yeah we're definitely going to be seeing some coney themed cosmetics throughout our battle pass and that's going to be pretty damn exciting now we did initially react to this beautiful gameplay trailer on stream earlier today but it's been a couple of hours there's now a lot more to dissect from the trailer that you guys probably missed on your first glimpse so let's break things down that you guys likely missed here for rebirth season three so got some nice new skins here as as you will see definitely not seeing a Godzilla theme skin or any of those rumored crossover ones these are just original
original skins we're going to be seeing probably through various bundles. Likely not the Battle Pass, but never say never to seeing one of these cool looking skins in the actual Season 3 Pass. Nice looking ghillie suit there. And then this is cool because he's setting off a flare, which is meant to distract you as the viewer. But notice that door that's open right there. Reminds me of one of those secret rooms you were able to open in Rebirth back during, I think, Cold War Cycle. And there was a couple of yellow doors that looked like that around the map. And upon opening them, you'd go downstairs and there would be a free blueprint and some bonus loot and Easter egg related content. So I'm curious what's in there now. It appears to be flooded, I'm going to guess, unless this is just meant to distract us a bit. But yeah, we're going to be able to swim in Rebirth now, which is crazy. I've seen some backlash to this and I'm like, wait, everybody wanted the ability to swim during Warzone 1. So of course, they're adding it in here with the MW3 integration. But yeah, I got a nice shot of Ghost, got somebody parachuting in. Yes, you could swim all around the island as you could also do on Fortune's Keep. Not something that you guys really need to utilize unless your zone ends in, you know, somewhere near water or whatnot. But yeah, really nice edits and a cool glimpse in first person of people being shot at. Got new blueprints being held. Really clear shot. Got a drone being destroyed there. And yes, you can zip line up with the gondola, as you will see. So loving those blue skins, by the way. Blue's obviously my color, so I'm a bit biased here. But it looks like that's does Cali sticks. I think those are Cali sticks. Maybe they're going to be added through a bundle or maybe they're a free unlock in the battle pass just not sure yet but the blog post that we'll be getting tomorrow and then early next week should end up revealing a lot more but notice how the hole in the roof is obviously not there because it's going to be an in-game infill strike and we'll talk about that in a second right that's a randomized event that'll end up happening later but yeah you can actually drive vehicles through the prison and nearly anywhere you want around the island some nice new skins there even a creepy looking bunny probably for easter and then yeah you can see a nice glimpse inside the cell block very very similar to what we remember from cold war and vanguard's life cycle and then yeah leave no friend behind so clearly going with the narrative that macroft's rescuing some of his coney operatives but yeah now there's the hole in the roof which doesn't always happen in every game that you play and we'll get back to that but very very cool dynamic elements and there we go people that usually cap on that tower are not going to be able to do that whenever that event does happen in matches of rebirth but those are some of the bigger takeaways from this gameplay trailer that you guys may have missed and they also go ahead and promote wars of mobile a little bit of course wars of mobile has a classic version of rebirth not the newer and updated one that we're going to be seeing here in mono warfare 3 but yeah very very cool shots there in the trailer itself beautiful beautiful artwork but Raven then responded to some of the backlash that has been pouring out over on Twitter and Reddit in regards to Rebirth being a bit different from what we're used to. And the thing is, Rebirth's really not that different from what we had in Rebirth Reinforced from Vanguard Cycle. So at the launch of Season 3, we're introducing or reintroducing Rebirth to Warzone. While a number of gameplay updates and visual polish have been made, this version of Rebirth stays true to the original experience our players know and love. And that's the thing, did anybody really disagree with the changes that Fortune's Keep got? They felt really fresh, felt a ton of fun, and I think the zombie element of fortune's keep was also a blast to see in season two so was there really any backlash to that i don't think so so that's weird to see from the community today that people are upset about some rebirth changes but later in the season players will have a rare chance to encounter infill strikes these are a set of dynamic events that will alter one of three possible pois at random at the very start of the match while the majority of matches will remain unaffected these strikes provide a rare yet unique spin to rotation and traversal opportunities for more information on infill strikes keep an eye out for the blog post so we'll learn more about that soon that's all coming from Beanox. but here's my takeaway about these infill strikes right when it comes to these randomized events i'm okay with them releasing the map just in its classic form day one season three and then mid-season they introduce us to these new random infill strikes but in all honesty i almost would have preferred if they could have just released the infill strikes day one just to see how the community reacts to them and then if people out there truly didn't like them maybe they could limit the rng of those events occurring or they could just remove them entirely now i was very clear before when raven ended up delaying the release of the weapon case in Culver xville i was very clear that they should probably let the content release in game first to receive actual feedback they shouldn't just pander to the criticism they see on reddit or twitter or the echo chambers of the negative side of the community when the content hasn't even released yet but to play devil's advocate i think it's still the best case scenario that they're listening almost too much to the community and ensuring they listen to every little thing versus the communication that we had last year which is having to wait months and months for core features that we already had for three years if not longer so it's not the end of the world that they're already kind of delaying the infill strikes but Let's see how these new features end up playing out with the mid-season update. Overall, though, I'm happy with the communication Raven has provided for the Warzone community. Really can't complain about it. But I think when it comes to actual gameplay features and massive updates, I'd rather those things be in-game and live before they make decisions to alter or delay things. Whereas there's other minor updates they could probably delay based on 
the criticism they see on the internet, but something as big as an info strike or weapon case, I think should be tried first. But either way, if you want to disagree with that, respectfully do it down below in the comments. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. As I always say, with the COD cycle, you can almost never win with the community, right? You know, new features get added in. Oh, we didn't ask for this, but then no changes get added in. Oh, this is lazy. This is just a remake of something we had a year ago. That's always the case with any game mode, multiplayer, Warzone, Zombies. You can never win. But leave all your thoughts down below on our secret review that we got for the season three battle pass that is about it really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everybody